Hey guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another speed build. I'm very excited to share this build with you guys today because this is a converted factory build. Basically, I wanted to build the shell of a factory building and then turn the inside into like a lofted space for a few different roommates. And today, this is going to be for some artists. I've done a similar concept in the past where I built a fire station and I turned it into a living space for some sims. And I've had this on my to-do list for a while. I think it was a suggestion from one of you guys. It's been written down for a really long time, so I do not remember. But I really like how this came out. It was so much fun to build. I actually built this over on Twitch uh, last week, this week. My, my days are really messed up. But I uh, built this over the course of a couple of streams. And I think it came out really cute in the end. It ends up being a three-bedroom, three-bathroom home with a like lofted studio space for all sorts of arts. And uh, it comes in at 110000 and two simoleons <laughs> so it's a little bit on the pricier side and with the three bedrooms three bathrooms all three bathrooms are en suites so they're connected to the bedrooms so if you have guests over they're gonna have to walk through a bedroom to get to a bathroom that's just kind of how the layout worked out uh so hopefully that's okay with you guys but right here the outside shape is really starting to come together here I wanted it to be a little wonky with like different columns coming up on the sides having these beautiful two-story windows which I'm actually going to be deleting the floor inside. So that is a lofted space. So you can actually see through those windows all connected between the floors, which I think is really cool. And I wanted to try and mimic the shape of the top of those rounded windows with the roof. So I did that with that roof piece. And then I am deciding for the top level, I think it would look nicer if we had a smaller bump out or smaller dormer in the middle. I also changed the swatches of the windows and the chimneys and the roof and it changes a couple of different times but I really wanted it to have some more contrast on the outside and I think I achieved that. These windows, these like big factory windows that I am using throughout this build are actually from the Moschino stuff pack. Probably my favorite item from that pack. It's so good. That was a stuff pack I wasn't really looking forward to because I'm not into that brand really, but the build and buy assets were just amazing. So definitely recommend. <laughs> and also I'm using these really cool vines that came with Discovery University. I really enjoy these. I think they look a lot more realistic than some of the ones that we have in the regular catalog because these ones are in Show Live Edit Objects. They're just a little bit more natural looking and I think they looked perfect for this build. I was really happy with it. And then I think the brick is from... Ooh, is that one from Dine Out? I think it might be. It's a really like worn down, stained, multicolored brick. And I just thought it fit the old factory vibes. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you do enjoy this build and you would like to download it, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EAID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y, P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffy. And that information will also be in the description down below as well. Here I am separating this lofted space and deleting the floor so that those windows do run from floor to ceiling. And then I added like two little chimney things on this side because the side of the building seemed too flat. I will be moving one of them over slightly in a little while though because I thought it would look nicer if they had enough space in between to have these uh, mosquito windows. And you can see I skipped forward to actually having that. And now we're working on the floor plan. So two of the three bedrooms end up being on the ground floor and then the third bedroom is actually on the third floor of this build and uh, I'm just trying to lay out some furniture to figure out where everything is going to be, where bedrooms and bathrooms are. I really had no clue how I wanted to lay this out so it was definitely a process <laughs> but you can see it's coming together here now and then I'm putting down some of this modular furniture or this um, sectional couch. That came with Dream Home Decorator. I used a decent amount of that pack in here. I used the couch and some of the shelving or shelving. I don't know why I always want to say that wrong, but some of the shelving under the steps as well. But we're working on the kitchen now and I'm using these base game countertops that are definitely more industrial in style. I wanted to have that style quite a bit through the interior of this build because it just fits for a factory. It's just naturally a good style for in here. Although I really like 
when I see like factory builds that have gone for a very different style on the inside. I guess this one also brings in modern elements, but that goes really nice uh, in my opinion with industrial build items. So that is what I went with. We also have this really bright blue fridge, which is from Jungle Adventure. And then there is like graffiti on the wall. And we were joking during stream that the uh, little like bubble above his head, what the graffiti is actually saying, what it says on the wall is wash your dishes. <laughs> because honestly, living with roommates, it's probably a nightmare. People leaving dishes everywhere and not cleaning them. And I think maybe one of the artists was just fed up with it and came in here and painted that on the wall. Or maybe did it with chalk. We added that wall to be this dark one that came with Eagle Lifestyle. It kind of looks like chalkboard. So it could be a chalkboard wall in the kitchen that they write down notes or ideas or recipes. But somebody was like fed up with their roommates not doing the dishes. So they drew this like angry face being like, wash your dishes. Maybe some more colorful language is included in there as well. It's definitely a possibility. But over here is going to be the dining space. It's just a table and chairs. The table is from Dream Home Decorator and the chairs I'm pretty sure are from City Living. I really enjoy those chairs. I think they're really pretty. And then, of course, I had to use the mason jar lights above the table. They are some of my favorites in the game. I don't know why they make me so happy, but they do. And those are from the Parenthood Game Pack. Moving into the living space now, though. I really wanted to make sure there was a pop of color, so I used this bright yellow rug from City Living, and then this is the shelving that I had mentioned that I'm putting under the stairs. It has some really wonky shadows, which I couldn't figure out how to get rid of, but I did change them to be a darker color, so I didn't think it was quite as obvious. And also, I have these other shelves from Seasons over on the other wall, and I raised them up so that they continue into the top floor. I thought it looked really cool over there, so... That's that, and then I just added a little bit more clutter to the dining space, but moving back into the living space, I'm going to clutter up these shelves. I added a TV, and I also switched the swatches of that couch. I thought having them have the black seat plus the black, like, wood was a little bit too dark in this space, so I liked lighting, lightening it up because the other black swatch is a little bit more faded, and then the wood is like this bright orange color. So I really liked how that came out. It made the space look a little bit brighter and happier. And then I'm just filling up these shelves a little bit. I think all I really added was a couple of paintings and a vase. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And some more plants in here. I think it looks really pretty. It's still really dark in color, but I think it looks pretty vibrant with like that bright yellow rug. And all of the light shining in from those two-story windows. I was really happy with that. And also I added a foosball table to like a main living space. I don't think I've ever done that before in a build. So I was really excited about that. I don't really use the foosball table very often. But it made sense for like this converted factory loft for artistic roommates. So I went with it. I hope you guys enjoy this. I know arts, artists in like artsy sims is a style and theme I go for a lot in The Sims when I'm doing building, but I think it's just because it's something I relate to having been somebody that went to school for graphic design and did a lot of traditional art as well and like worked in graphic design and now I like design builds in The Sims and stuff. Uh, it's just something I guess I relate to more. And speaking of which, when I was working on this studio space, Myself and chat were like, oh, I really wish we had proper like pottery and ceramics in The Sims. We have like lumps of clay and your Sims kind of become obsessed with them and it's kind of sad. But I would love to have like a pottery wheel and be able to make beautiful things and then, oh my gosh, put them in the kiln and glaze things. Oh, it would be a dream. But do I want my Sims to have to go through the pain that I went through in college? of making like 200 pounds of clay for the whole class in the middle of the night with giant clay like mixers because it was not fun. <laughs> it was incredibly uh, intense and slow paced and <laughs> frustrating and messy. So I don't think I want my students to have to make their own clay. Plus I don't think that that would be added, but I would like to have like a pottery wheel and a kiln and like be able to glaze your your ceramics. I think that would be really fun. 
And that would work really nice for like a hobbies pack. I know there's been a lot of demand for a hobbies pack. I think that would work nicely. Anyway, I just talked over this space. There's like some dressers, a woodworking table, some easels, a couple of planters, lots of decorative like artsy stuff and a candle making station. Plus there is a dart board. So you can just hang out up here and play darts. I think this is a really fun space. I had a lot of fun decorating it. It's kind of messy and I think it came out cute. I was very happy with that lofted space. But moving up to the third floor now, there is a landing spot that I made as like a secondary living space. Uh, there's just like a couch and a couple of random items here, bookcases, like a jukebox and stuff, and some pretty string lights. And then there's the door that leads out to the third floor balcony, which I put a bar and stuff on. I thought that this could be a cool hangout space. And there's also a door up here to the third and final bedroom, but the upstairs space is just a little bit more of a hangout spot. Or it could be a little bit of a quieter space to get away from uh, the noise downstairs in the studio. So whatever you would like. But this is going to be the third bathroom. It is attached to the um, bedroom like I had mentioned. I say it's the third, but I think this is the first one we're decorating on camera po possibly. And it might be the only one we're decorating on camera. They're all slightly different shapes, but they all have essentially the same things in them and they're the same style. So I think this might be the only one I show, uh, but it's the one on the top floor. There's two on the main floor. So yeah, we have this beautiful industrial shower that came with seasons, a little rug, some succulents, a brick wall, and suddenly we're downstairs. <laughs> and because I decorated the top floor bathroom first, but I didn't decorate that bedroom first. This is actually the downstairs first bedroom I decorated. It's very pink and black, and I thought that this color scheme was just really pretty. There's also this really rich brown woodsy color because that's the wood tone that came on this bed. So I wanted to make sure to get bedside tables that match that pretty nicely. Definitely using a lot of Dream Home Decorator in here. And uh, that's most of what this room has. I think we're just going to be adding a mirror and a guitar. And that's it for that room, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, some shoes as well. But I thought that one was really cute. The pink color just made me really happy. And then this is the bedroom I'm the least sure about. <laughs> I, I was trying to make it colorful and interesting with patterns. And I'm not sure if I like it. It ends up being like orange and blue, which is a really cool color combo. Uh, I'm just not 100% positive if I really enjoy it or not. It was more of an experiment, but I think that's pretty realistic for a place for a bunch of artists. Some things work, some things don't. Maybe you're experimenting with some like bedding that you made recently and then you're not sure or you're constantly repainting the room and it's kind of not ever at its final state. It's constantly changing. So we're going to pretend that's what that room is. <laughs> but this is the upstairs room I've been talking over now. It's much more um dark and simple. It's just like black and white. I'm using a lot of eco lifestyle in here. And I like how this one came out. This one is the one that's attached to that bathroom that I did show. And it's also next to that uh, third floor hangout space. Oh yeah, and there's a blue rug in there. But we're moving outside onto that balcony. Like I had mentioned, there is going to be a bar. I also added a buffet table, which is from the uh, worst stuff pack for the Sims for luxury party stuff. But uh, I thought it would be good for like a hangout space or a party or what have you. So I wanted to add that out here. But that's most of what's out here, I'm pretty sure. Do I add anything else? Maybe a rug? Yeah, I think I add a rug. But just a hangout space. This is a home for a few different roommates who are really into art. And I thought a converted factory was the perfect spot to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the screenshots, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.